Quinn SS asks, what does the Sky Zone Mix 1, 2, 3, and Div mode mean? And does RF Normal mean diversity? Does RF Steady View mean mix? Thanks. Please answer. Okay, Quinn, I'm going to start from the things I'm most confident about and move to the things I'm least confident about, okay? Div means diversity. 100% sure about that. Oh, good, good. We're off to a good start. Diversity means that the signal comes in both antennas. The receiver looks at which antenna has the strongest signal and then uses that antenna. And every so often it checks to see which antenna has the stronger signal. And if that has changed, it switches. Okay. Now there's two problems with this. One is that in the moment when it switches antennas, it interrupts the signal. You'll see this as white, kind of white flashes while you're flying. And the other problem is that sometimes it would be better to combine the signal coming from both antennas in an intelligent way, as opposed to switching between them and only listening to one at a time. So that's where we get to mix. That's where we get to mix. So mixing does two things, okay? Mixing does, it, it does what, what I call frame combining, where it tries to take the good parts from both antennas and intelligently sort of weave them together into one good frame as opposed to switching back and forth between the antennas. So with mix mode, you do not have any more white flashes from diversity switching. Okay. And it does something called sync reconstruction. Sync reconstruction, uh, to understand sync reconstruction, an NTSC or PAL, an analog video signal is made up of frames uh, of, of video information and each frame is separated from the next one by a sync pulse and the sync pulse says the next frame is about to begin and that sync pulse has to be kept up with if that sync pulse is missed the whole frame is missed you'll you'll get rolling image it'll it'll read the frame but it'll overlap or interfere with the output and it won't line up right and you'll get you'll get rolling screen you'll get black and white it'll mess up the image so the sync pulse is extremely important to displaying the image if you catch the sync pulse but then a little bit of the signal is messed up after the sync pulse you'll still get a pretty clean image it'll be stable it'll just be a little bit of, of static in it or, or disruption so what the the mix mode does is it does sync reconstruction. Sync reconstruction means that it detects the spacing of the sync pulses. And if a sync pulse is missing, the module will fake a sync pulse so that the screen can display the image with a little corruption, but at least it'll be stable. Okay. So frame combining and sync reconstruction are the two major functions of the, of the, of the steady view mode. And by the way, that's the same as what rapid fire does. It's the same as what fusion does. These are what we call frame combining or, or sync, re whatever you want to call it. They both do, they all do these same things. They don't do them in exactly the same way, but that they do them. So with the, with the steady view mode, you get no diversity flashing. You just get a stable image with no diversity flashing. And you get an image that will not roll when the sync pulse gets interrupted. Sorry about that. But there's a problem. The problem is that some cameras do not have a consistent sync pulse timing. Okay? So instead of going bump, 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 exactly however many frames per second that it's supposed to be, the camera might go bump, bump, uh, bump, uh, bum, bum, bum. I'm exaggerating, but the sync pulses are not consistent. And that means the frame timing is not consistent. 
And if the display is simply listening for the sync pulses and then showing the image, that's fine. You just But when you have a module that's doing sync pulse reconstruction, the module will always be on the right timing. Oh no, some sync pulses got corrupted. The images, okay, the module starts recreating the sync pulses with perfect timing, but the camera is actually drifting. And that means the sync pulses that the module is creating are not actually in the right place relative to the incoming signal. And what happens then is you get a rolling screen, <laughs> the exact problem that you're trying to solve. So, and this is not a problem that's unique to the steady view receiver. This is a problem that TBS Fusion and Rapid Fire have both had to solve, and they've pretty much solved it. What they do is, when the sync pulses go away, they keep recreating the sync pulses, but then if the sync pulses don't come back, they're like, forget it. Okay, forget it. We're going to stop doing that. And then the screen just has to do its best to find the sync pulses, and maybe they're there, maybe they're not. But the idea is that if you keep, let's say I start a tempo. Uh, now I'm going to stop the tempo and I want you to keep clapping at exactly the same tempo. And we're going to come back in 45 seconds and see if you've drifted. Will you have drifted? Probably, right? That's what happens with frame rate destruction. So what they do is they call it a sync lock time. The shorter the sync lock time, the, the, the faster the module will go, okay, we're not going to do that anymore. We're not going to recreate the sync pulse anymore because we're, we're probably drifting. Okay. And that is, so steady view is mixing mode where it does frame combining and sync reconstruction and the mix one, two, and three have different unlock times, different lengths of time where it will try to preserve and recreate the sync pulses. But if it goes on too long, then the image will roll and it won't look good. Okay. Now, which should you use? Uh, Rapid Fire, I know, had a very long sync time at first. And the problem was it would hold on too long and the image would drift and roll if you have a camera. See, the thing is, if you have a camera that has a rock solid frame timing, then the sync lock could stay as long as it wants and it would be a good thing. The problem is that when you have a camera that doesn't have consistent frame timing, you want that sync lock to be, a sh to be shorter. And Rapid Fire found that shortening the sync lock significantly gave better all-round performance. So I don't know whether Mix 1, 2, or 3 has the shortest sync lock time, but I would pick the one that has the shortest sync lock time. Some people have pointed out, thank you, Ton likes analog in the Discord. Some people have pointed out that SteadyView is also reported. I don't know if this is true, but some people have said that it has problems with PAL signals, that it works great with NTSC, but it doesn't have, it doesn't do well with PAL. So if you have a steady view and you're having a problem with it, try switching your cameras to NTSC and see if it helps. Um, great question. Probably a longer answer than was really required, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you need to repeat the explanation, you can check out my live stream clips channel. I'm sure that will be going up in the next week or so. Um, Quinn SS, what I would say is use mix one and if you get rolling screen sometimes then try mix three. And if that fixes it, then great. And if that doesn't fix it or makes it worse, then your only option is to go back to diversity or try switching to NTSC and see if it's better. Captain Bry says, I feel like all the mix modes are identical on mine. They're all fine or problematic depending on how they feel. Yeah. So this, unfortunately, this is a problem that every 
uh, every module that does sync reconstruction is subject to this problem. And it's just a question of how bad they let it get before they fall back to diversity and stop doing sync reconstruction. Um, but uh, the, the, when tuned correctly, the results are quite good. Rapid Fire has done a great job with it. I almost never have this problem with my Rapid Fire module anymore. <laughs>